All right, the list keeps getting longer. So here it is. These are all the mods I use. <laughs> There's the whole list. <laughs> Take some screenshots. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is Heiss, and today we are um, hopefully getting out of debt, maybe. Maybe. There we go. I got my mouse cursor back. <laughs> yeah, so last D-Rail Valley live stream um, went really poorly. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I think we're going to go throw away some jobs. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Yeah, because we blew up the, tr the whole train, so that can go there in the bin. And then we blew up that train. <laughs> it's been a pretty good but pretty busy day uh, today for me. I, my band had a gig at the uh, local Harley Davidson dealership. We played for a kind of Father's Day event thing. It was pretty cool. But I'm exhausted because we played for like three hours. Welcome, everyone. Antimatter1207. Thank you for being on the ESD train crew. Stop blowing up the valley. <laughs> Stop blowing up your valley. Could go well. Yeah, we got paid. I mean, there was no one there really. It was a small thing, but it was fun. Liver cryo oxygen. Well, that sounds spicy. I don't think I have hazmat too, though. Oh, we don't want to look at that. That that's the painful thing. What's the wallet say? Gotcha. Nothing. Do I have hazmat too? Oh, I do have hazmat too. Okay. So we could deliver that stuff. Goku over 9,000. Thank you for joining the ESD conductors. I see Brent Hinshaw and Raven Amir here. Welcome. Thank you for being on the train crew. Oh, man. We got all kinds of explodey boys <laughs> that we could take to the steel mill. How much tonnage is all that? 220, 756, four. So we could get. We can get like a that's like a solid fourteen hundred tons to the steel mill. That should be pretty easy. And Ragnar Adventures, welcome and thank you. Glad you enjoy Hellbot. We I was just telling everyone that I we had a gig today. And now we pray none of the cars are in the D or G yard because we will not be able to get them. This one will probably be in here somewhere. Professor Fun Pancake, welcome to the S and D train crew. And Virtual Railfan Productions, welcome. And thank you for being on the ESD train crew. How many times will I been it today? Many times. You finally figured out what ESD stood for? Yes. <laughs> it's a, a holdover from the railroads online stuff. Oh, these are weird. We've now got bulkhead flats with containers on them. That's a vibe. Is there such a thing as a big boy mod? I don't think so. I don't think anyone's made one yet. Okay, now uh, let's probably this cut of cars over here actually. Okay, yeah, for steel mill, and it's going to the A yard, A6. Okay, and we got a short train of argon, which is probably like one of these machine factory. It's probably just easier to teleport and see the de destinations. Steel mill, this is the 77. Okay, this is this cut, and it's going to the B3. And this cut's going to the B3. Oh, well, that's too easy. So we put um, put all these guys on the rear of the train, and we'll have those right next to the locomotive, run through, cut those cars off on the B3, and then dump those off in the A-yard. Get rid of the beans. You know, I downloaded the, the, beans, the beans car mod, but I didn't install it yet. So. <laughs> Let's see. What, what should we run today, viewers? We have the options of DE6 or SH282, or we can spawn something in. Let's see. What options do we have if we spawn something in? We have spawner, shunter, steam heavy, where did diesel, we have all those. Uh, whatever that is. Oh, that's one of, uh, 
That's one of Boss's tank cars. Oh, that's one of Boss's tank cars that are <laughs> skinned for me automatically. I love it. <laughs> uh, I haven't shown any of Boss's stuff off on the channel yet, but uh, they've been making some cool stuff. And uh, it'll probably be in my next actual video for Dear Old Valley that we'll do that. Oh, and we need to turn on light. Oh, we need to... Um... Someone told me in the Dear Old Valley Discord that there's like some settings that I need to set on for Light Sniper that I need to start with. Oh, and then there's this. This is also one of Boss's things. And this is a Yugoslavian locomotive, which he sent me a picture of it, and I did a hilarious double take because I've seen the prototype of this um, at a railroad museum in Zagreb, Croatia, because uh, that's where, actually where my family's from. So... And it's got the dual control stance. <laughs> That's a vibe. I love it. Anyways. Um, so, I don't know. What do people want to see? German Mikado? DE6? DE6? I see two DE6 votes. Let me, uh, you know, we'll, we'll make it a poll. Let me, uh, let me unspawn this. Comms radio. That's what I'm looking for. Dude, 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 clear. There we are. All right. Let's see. Create a poll. Add option, add option. Let's see. D6. SH282. German lads. Yugoslavian. All right. Those are the choices, and I guess I can figure out what you want from uh, from there. <laughs> Something big with the DE6. I have been doing a lot of steam. It's true. Oh, and I guess there's also the option of that awful uh, UP, <laughs> GP, whatever it is. But hang on. I'm going to see. While the vote runs, I'm going to see about... Um, what command that I need to, um, run for Light Sniper to make it work. Well, that's not terribly helpful. Anyway, looks like uh, most people want to see the new diesel. All right, let's try that then. As as nighttime rolls in here. <laughs> uh, let's see. There it is. Open the console and type this. And a little bit of lag happens. And then I also want this. Okay. So I'll have to see what this does. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go spawn the Choo Choo in where it's convenient for us, I think. I think that's the real move. Well, it hasn't spawned all the crossings in yet. We'll see. Anyway, might as well make it less work. Can you make snake engines all the way around the map? No, I think my computer would melt sometime before we got that. Comms radio. Oh, it is chugging while it spawns all these lights in. I tell you what, though. Oh, God. The grade crossings are screaming over here. <laughs> Warning, there is a train. God, is this what European grade crossing sounds like? That's more annoying than our electronic bells in the United States. Anyway. Am I just taking a break from Railroads Online? As far as being uh, a part of the dev team, no. From Railroads Online content, kind of, yes, because there's not much to do about it. I guess we'll do, which, which way does it go? Okay. I want to run it long head forward because, you know, that's a thing that we can do. So, comms radio. 
clear. So which way did it... Oh, so it wants to run long head forward. That's kind of cool. All right. <laughs> British crossing. Man, there there is a rave of lights going on in these houses. I'm not sure what's going on there. It's a little painful. Anyway. Let's get that tied in there. Cut the brakes in. And then we'll go fire this thing up. Which I'm not sure exactly how they have this set up. It looks like the DE6 is normal stuff. Okay. And then presumably somewhere out the door. <laughs> that grade crossing is just screeching. My explosion caused a power short. No, see, the, the track circuit is still detecting a train there. Okay. We need to be on this side. There we are. That's a throttle setting. Interesting. Well, that's actually more accurate. Hold the lathe shaft while uh, while it does its thing. Anyway. <laughs> so we got dual control stands, which is fun. I don't have a chair. That's fine. Nice big windows. Let's uh, see about getting some lights on. Headlights, cab light. Look like we do have lights, so air is off. We're in forwards. Let's start pulling here. Right. Knuckles didn't, mate. That's for sure. Oh, that's just going to be fine. Bang. There we go. Got him that time. Can I fit out this door? All right. There we are. I left an access door open, yeah, but they automatically snap closed as soon as you get off the locomotive, so it doesn't really make a difference. Something is weird in Soundland because I don't have any horn. We've not exploded any boys. We're going to be running a bunch of cars to the steel mill here. But we got to grab them first. So we're going to get out of the yard here. Oh, my automatic still dumped. That's. Oh no, it just works backwards. Does it really? Do they have their brakes set up backwards? That's bizarre. Addy Maker Twenty Four, going well. Thank you for being on the ES and Detroit crew. Yeah, pretty much, right? Oh god, I don't have a Oh now I have a horn. Weird. Okay. It's fine. Is there benefit to long and high hoods? Uh yeah, high hoods you can't see past and short hoods slash vertically short hoods you can visibility is gr a lot greater um, are we doing braking things seems like the cars are not setting up now they're setting up well they took their sweet time with that anyway let's go line some switches shall we I don't remember what track these cars are on are they these these two cuts right here yeah. Okay. So we'll line ourselves in here. Don't 
think it makes a difference. I guess we'll grab the short, the shortcut first so we can get out of town a little quicker, I guess. I don't know if it makes a programmatic difference really, but let's get in this thing. Can I, can we get in? No? Okay. <laughs> Open the door. Some of the uh, hitboxes on some of the doors are a little interesting. That's not the end of the world. Also, welcome James Patterson. Is that Dusty's friend Jimmy from the COG? Thank you for being on the ESD train crew. Yeah, see, so I've been using the scroll wheel, and it seems to be closing the door well, but it doesn't seem to open the door on this model at all. Because I'm scrolling back, and it's just not, yeah. Yes, this is a modded diesel locomotive. It is the Yugoslavian Railways Class 661, made by Boss. It's available on Nexus Mods. I think the uh, procedural sky and lighting mods are doing weird things to its textures right now, but it's a nice looking model. Came out really well, I think. Cuba 6 chat on a diesel. I support it. Welcome everyone. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with these lights, but uh, it certainly looks like there's a hell of a rave going on in all these buildings simultaneously. we got a long way to shove here. We also might need a second diesel. I don't know if this one's just going to be enough. Oh, excellent. Thank you for the tip on changing the... <laughs> to, to something that sounds like something that I know. Instead of the strange Britishisms. Set property level crossing dot sound. Oh, yeah, it was you that was um, that was giving me the good tips in the Dero Valley Discord. Cheer, cheers, physicist. Is that how you say your name? All right. Don't dump the, don't dump the air until you see the whites of its eyes. So close. <laughs> Alright, well now we can just bang into him, right? There we go. Straight to eight. Got him. And then straight to eight this way. It's, it was like 30 cars! <laughs> I gotta say, this door doesn't want to open very well. Uh oh. Can we get the brake hose done up? We're accelerating so hard that the brake hoses are doing things. That's all right. Now the uh, the brakes will slam on because we tied the air in. I think it actually dumped the train. Oh lord. Open the door. <laughs> yeah, dumped the train and made me uh, stall out. I can't open the windows. And the lighting is doing strange things with the, uh, the textures in here. Have I seen the steam trains that haul coal in, in China? Yes, I have. Hey, Fisher Studios. Hello. Thank you for the super chat. Much appreciated. All right. We've got a bit of a ways to get... Uh, Get out the yard. Yeah, see, the, I think there's actually a mod to make the doors persist. However you set them. But yes, this is a modded locomotive. This is the Yugoslavia Railways Class 661 made by Boss. Hey, happy birthday, Dustin. I wasn't sure if I was going to do it until I got home from my gig earlier and was like, you know what, I feel like doing nothing but being on my computer right now, so. Alright, we can 
dump the air real quick. That ought to get it. And then line us into that next cut. And now we'll jump in here. Jump on here. Jump in here. There we go. I guess I can run short hood forward, right? That's like the whole point of this. How does it know? Okay, so I still have to say reverse, technically. And then it puts the... <laughs> it has two different reversers right now. This is kind of wacky. That one's, this one's really in reverse, but this one's in forward, which I guess makes sense, but... <laughs> Does it have a bell? Oh, good question. I don't know. Oh, that's the engine off button. Okay. Noted. Get me out of here, please. <laughs> List of, listen to the weird ding-dinging. I guess we got enough time to try and fire the engine back up. Oh, but I presumably probably have to pull the knife switch again. Come on these doors, man. Boss, fix your doors. We're probably getting close. Which which one is it? This one? There it is. And of course we have to flip the knife switch again, because that just magically comes down. Can I... Let me out! <laughs> it won't let you teleport out. <laughs> no, nor do the doors want to open fast at all. That's the uh, the one downside of these so far. Welcome, Thomas Perry. Thank you for being an ESD train crew member. <laughs> so close. One of these days, I'll I'll sight in the uh, the exact distance for these. All right. Let's get in the cab. Frantically attempt to teleport out of the cab. Yeah, no. Open the door. No, hang on. We fell off earlier, so that resets all the things, which is obnoxious. So we come in here, and now we got to turn the knife switch on again. And it's not even a knife switch, which is kind of hilarious, but anyway... Let's see, get that open, and it's this guy right here. I'm gonna crank up and open the lathe shaft a little bit. There we go. Okay. Back in business here. All right, now we just bump the couplers real nice and easy. Really? Let's move slightly forward. Why is it in... Why do we have full braking force? <laughs> the brake stuff is mad at me. This is a, uh, a modded locomotive by Boss. I have to put that in the description somewhere. Did it all dump? Like, I didn't think... I thought we... The knuckle didn't make, but we still were able to hook up the, uh, the air. So it should be in this joint right here. God, these cars just that slow to release. Okay, that's all it is. That's why we weren't moving. Get inside the cab, please, there. Thank you. Okay, we're, we're running long or short head forward here. But we need to hit, say reverse. And now we'll just put it in eight. I think we got it. Okay, and now we'll just put it in run eight this way. Okay, and we still have all three jobs, so 
We'll now let that uh, hub all through the yard by itself while we go figure out where the uh, station is. Here it is. Turn these jobs in. Or start these jobs. And hopefully we don't blow anything up. I can hear it wheel slipping from here, though. Give it sand. Give it sand. I would like to teleport inside the cab, please, sir. Where is your sand? There it is. All right. This is a weird horn. She can't even do the annoyed driver thing and zip tie the doors open. Too real. Well, we've got it in eight, and we are pulling many RPMs. All right. I gotta say, I don't think those are giving the uh, FRA required 20 second minimum warning, but that's fine. This is a neat choo-choo. I'm just gonna leave it in eight because we're never gonna make it up this hill unless we really put the beans to it. Speed and power. Get another engine. We only got 1,500 tons. One engine should be barely not enough, right? So we're gonna use speed and power. Okay, maybe not. Maybe, maybe we're not. Maybe we're not gonna use speed and power. Maybe we're gonna leave the speed and power right there. And, uh, yeah, we're just gonna leave the speed and power right there for now. And let the speed come down. And now give it the power. See? That's the move right there. Come on, choo choo. I have no idea if this is uh, what actually is tonnage for this thing. It seems to be holding its own so far, knock on wood. Though by the derail numbers that the rear of the consist is still pretty far back. Give it the beans. Man, this thing seems to be walking up this hill with these. Right until I ram it through that switch. Invalid username, we are on our way to the steel mill right now. 1,500 tons of scrap metal, and then explodey boys in the rear. Although they're not true explodey boys, they're Dylan VA's very nice. Uh, custom-made tank cars. And thankfully, Physicist sent me the command in Discord or posted it in Discord where I could see it. And hopefully... Oh, hang on. We do... Light sniper sound. Bell. Come on. Survive, choo choo. It's starting to get hot. I'm seeing that. I'll dial it back to good f notch five, I suppose. We could probably kick the sand off now. Hey, Paul, thank you for the super chat. Did you miss in any pee in a cup moments? No, we've yet to really pee in a cup. We're, we're pretty early still. How many speed limits am I going to break? I've, I've broken several so far, but 
right now we're um, attempting to appease our engine here. It's acting like my GTO last time I drove it right now. But that was because my GTO's thermostat was bad, so. Uh, night mode is a mod. And it's really cool. Yeah, the night is still young, yes. This is a good, uh, good sized train. How many? 31 cars. This thing's a bit of a champ. And we are slowly cooling off, so. And maintaining speed, so you know what? I, I don't. My only complaint with this choo choo so far is the, <laughs> the bloody doors. The scroll wheel only works to shut them, it doesn't work to open them. And then they're very stiff. But yeah, long, the long hood in the front is fun, and the smoke. The smoke is a fun vibe. Where's the caboose? God, you know, I don't honestly remember. It's probably amidst all the stuff that blew up in last live stream. <laughs> Would I murder someone for throwing a cake in a firebox? No. I've thrown worse things in a firebox than a cake. No, we, so we, we ditched the caboose in the woods, but then we went and picked it up afterwards. Okay, I'm gonna notch it up one, I think. That's two, come on. This is a Yugoslavia Railway, Railways Class 661, which is um, an export EMD of some variety. Pretty cool, if I'm honest. And we're just maintaining the speed limit with 1,500 tons behind us here. It's the worst thing I've thrown in a firebox. You know, I'm not sure. Off the top of my head, there's not a singularly, like, bad thing that I've tossed in. I've seen someone toss a giant chunk of a stump in there and then we tried to burn down the whole railroad for like the next hour, but I've never cremated anything in a firebox. Leftover pizza boxes have gone in uh, gone in the firebox. Oh no, the worst things that has gone in the firebox was um a bunch of misprinted books actually. They, uh, they had to get rid of them because they had like totally goofed up the prints and, and it was just like, well, you have to throw these away. And it's like, well, we've got a portable incinerator named 491. And so we threw a bunch of books in there and having having books like stacked up in the tender felt like we're just really wrong. It's probably the worst thing I've thrown in a firebox, but. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do any drinking game take a drink every time I mention what locomotive this is. That is how this feels a little bit. Alright, we're putting the sand on and we're gonna run it straight to 8 here. And we're gonna see how hot we can get this thing going. I mean fast, not hot. We're still pulling pretty hard. For all these RPMs and all this temperature increase, I'm really not getting much speed. So you know what? Maybe maybe we won't and say we did. Save save us the sand and save our engine. How long is this live stream? So far we have been going for 34 minutes. So the night is still young here. Still a weird horn. The brakes being backwards still weirds me out. They're exported EMD G16s. Wonderful. Yeah, I was, as I said earlier in stream, I've actually seen one of the prototype locomotives uh, when I was in Zagreb back in 2018. 
Paul, I'm not going to be in the museum in July. I'll be there in August, so. Yeah, and it does seem to be geared more for torque than for speed, doesn't it? <laughs> Cheers, Jesse. That's good. I need to cut a hole in it to cool it down. <laughs> Is it August yet? No, it's not, Dust. And look at you making an account. I've been asking myself the same question for, for many, many weeks now. Is it August yet? I would like to not be working on my house anymore. I would, I would like to be in Colorado. Soon enough. Any signs of the cube? No, we've not seen the cube yet. I've, I heard legends of the cube, but I've yet to see it. Okay, we're doing a good 70 here. But we got 90, so you know what? We'll put it in 8 and see what it does. We, like, let it cool off all the way, so now we have to burn it up again. Well, we're certainly getting a little speed now. At the expense of our coolant temp, but, you know, that's... that's the way you live, right? Have I heard the mockingbird whistle on the cache? No, I've not. A wide cab SD40 could be fun. What is the cube? I don't know. I've, I've been told legends of the cube from folks on other discords, but I've not seen it myself, and we're just gonna scream and put the air on as we blitz through this curve too fast. comes down to 60. We're already up here. Okay. We'll just, uh, just grab another little set, I guess. It's fine. Oh, and this is the switch that eat, ate my tender that one time. Oh, yeah, you can see why. Yeah, this is tasty. Have I heard of the Timkin 1111? Uh, is that the one that um, they demoed for like Northern Pacific or something and then it got scrapped on accident or something that was really cool and it had like all of that experimental stuff on it? I think I recall hearing something about that. Okay, we got Still a 60 here. That's fine. Where is my comms radio? Let's get set to switches. Oh lordy, that was quick through there. <laughs> well, we don't need to put sand down because we're just idling going downhill here and we're actually picking up a decent amount of speed so we're gonna set it up a little. Although we have an 80 through here now, so I guess we'll kick it off white cabs are ugly. It is a little weird to have a white cab, isn't it? Do the DNR GW diesels at the museum run? No, they don't, unfortunately. I think the tunnel motor is relatively complete, but I don't think it, uh, it hasn't run in a number of years, so it would actually need a fair amount of work to make it run. Or at least going around the top deck and making sure the turbo hasn't been exposed to the elements which it probably has but who knows get a amount of braking going you know <laughs> this is why long hood sucks oh because you don't see that you're going the wrong way till you get to the switch <laughs> that's why long hood sucks oh there's a switch there oh and it's lined the wrong way because we can't see the target because we're running long hood forward all right there goes the time bonus, everyone. All right, and now we run We run on top of the cars holding the bleed key. We go bleed all the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I don't know if that's peacup worthy, Raven, but uh, I mean, uh, I understand. It's definitely demerits worthy. Okay, now we can run short hood. We're in eight. Come on, sweetheart. Push the train. It's not a brick wall. They have wheels. Jeff Hicks, welcome to the ESD train crew. Oh, it looks like it's a totally different color now that the lighting has finally started to make sense. It's blue. Oh man, it does not want to shove up this hill. Oh hell, okay, well I guess, I guess we'll we'll run this way and get a I I don't know what we're going to do. We'll, we'll, run, we'll run down down the Y and then I guess we can back in. We're probably not making time bonuses anyways. Yeah, I guess that's the best cuz shoving through that curve and up that hill's not happening here. So All right, Rich Hogan, Hogan, Hogan. Either way, welcome to the S and D train crew. Thank you for joining. I think you're trying to? Yes, I was trying to push 1,500 tons uphill. That's right. Campaign for Timkin to show off all the roller bearings. A bunch of roller bearings is what it was. All right, now we'll just grab a massive gob of air, put this thing in run eight and reverse, turn the sand on, release the air. The automatic running the wrong way is still messing with me. And then we'll just do the Jesus thing and then go find the switch. Come on, train. All right, they're all released, so it's now backing. This grade is, oh, not near as, oh God, that's a three and a half, 3.3%. No wonder we weren't shoving that up that. That's quite steep. All right, well, if we're really cool, we'd kick into the B3. Just kicking more hazmat, that sounds like a really smart idea. B3 inbound is over here. Just gotta line that switch. Lined, 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 all the way lined into the B3. Grab the remote. You know, that would be smarter, wouldn't it? Oh. The train was moving. Did it overheat and die up here? Oh, no. It's just trying its hardest with no sand probably. Yes, we have used all of the sand. All right. Can I can I get 7 notches out of you? There we go. Just got to get the cups ready now. Kicking cars hasn't exactly gone the line. well the last few times we tried it. True it hasn't. We don't care about those where those wheels. Hey, Carlos says kick him, so <laughs> I'm with Carlos. Hey, buddy. Welcome. Thank you for being on the ESD train crew. Yeah, there's something weird with um, one of the, like, the normal materials or something on this locomotive with the way that uh, it's it's also probably the uh, the sky and then the weather mods that are messing with it, too. There's sometimes a day when it looks really, really brilliant, and then there's sometimes where it kind of gets weird, like right now. All right. Fast we going 20. I don't know if we're gonna make it up this or not. So I'm in seven. Any Celeste? Hel hello, welcome. Thank you for being part of the ESD train crew. Okay. 
<laughs> Dusty had been texting me the whole time, and because my phone's so dead, I didn't even get a, a vibration. But I'm glad you figured out a YouTube account, bud. Which local mod is this? All right, everyone, drink. This is the Yugoslavia Railways 661. He's trained from old country. Da. Oh, Otzel, thank you. Day-night mod clashing with DV's baked lighting. Simulator should fix it. Well, that's exciting. Isn't Simulator supposed to be coming out somewhat soon? The re-release or the updated uh, date for it? Come on. All right, so we've made it over the majority of that hill. So we should make it in. Made with potato, vodka, and KGB. No, not, not quite. Not quite. No, it's, it's, it's got rakia. I mean, they still ate anything in old country. Not just potato. All right, so, because I don't want to shut that off. We'll be cool kids. We're going to fall on the coupler. We're gonna shut that angle cock. Undo the hose. Oh, get run over by the train. That was part of this. Come on. Get me there. Can I pop the hoses? There we go. Bye. Bye. Oh. Well. <laughs> we successfully kicked, but we didn't stop where we wanted to stop. So, whatever. All right. And pop that air right there. Let's see if we made... <laughs> I doubt we made either of these time bonuses, but we, you know, might as well try for it. If we can get any of the money we can. So the, not that job. Either of those other jobs. Holy crap, we made the time bonus. Okay. Alright. Check it out. 62 grand and 18 grand. Is that right? Yeah. 82 G's. What, dear heavens, is going on here? <laughs> um. 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 Oh my god, did I install that mod? I didn't think I installed that mod. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I didn't, I genuinely didn't think I installed that mod. I'm glad that I did install that mod. That means this stream's gonna get a lot more fun. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's get, pull out of the yard here. Oh, hang on. My angle cock's still open. And I can't teleport out of this cab. Dies. Quit, quit whining about it, okay? Can't teleport out, can't teleport in. What's even the point of railroading if you can't teleport? <laughs> I will have the bean tank cars, yes! We can give it to the beans. Can, can you finish being an emergency there, friendo? I promise you don't have to be in emergency anymore. We'll just bleed the brake cylinders manually once again. Put this thing in eight. Well, not eight, but you get the idea. No pegs. Welcome to the ESD train crew. Thank you. Come on, train. Oh, we haven't built up enough uh, reservoir. How sad is your air compressor, friendo? Fine, I'll put in eight just to get the air compressor to do something. Let's see if I can find the banana as well. All right, get me out. Get me out. There we go. Okay. All right. Now we'll highball through here, which we are now lined for something sane. Yes. Yes. Okay. 
<laughs> and we will not be getting the time bonus for the scrap cars, but that's fine. Hello, everyone. How long <laughs> until I pull a Casey Jones? At this rate, uh, probably not on this job, but, you know, the next one for sure. You can bleed the vacuum to leave you with no brakes or live. There's a vacuum cut out. Okay, the the truck, the tr the truck flat car is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Oh man, I love. <laughs> My dear old valley is confused at all the cursed crap that I've put inside of it now, so. Alright, so what track do we need to go at? The A6. A7 is the load and unload track, so it should be the one over from that. Turns out my grade crossing setting did not change. I must have goofed that up somehow. We'll just take a nice set. I forgot which hood I had facing the other, which way. It's like, hey, I'm, I'm past it, right? No, but uh, the hood, the long hood's this way. And we're aligned, that's to a seven, so we're gonna line to a five. Might need to redo the command. Siren or bell. Oh, I probably need to get rid of that. No, no reference exception. No. We're programming on this stream. I'm not sure what's going on there. Figure out another time. Let's see. We're going to be lined in. Oh, we're, we're lined all the way into the A6. Well, I guess we could bury the choo-choo in, and then we'll go teleport somewhere fun and grab another job to do, I guess. And once again with the long hoods. Can't see where the hell you're going. Alright, we can shove into this, uh, this siding at the speed rate. 40 kilometers an hour, that's fine. Okay, let's get some air set up here. It's fine. Okay, now put it in eight after we dumped it. It's fine. And dump it again. Get me out of this. There we go. Well, that's an eat choo choo. And now we will go turn in the job and uh, go somewhere else. I want to go see one of the uh, the special cars. Look at that, 11 Gs. Bang! All right, so 93,000. <laughs> Only 500, uh, 590, whatever, 506,000 to go. There we go. That's the that's the math. Okay, well, I think it's time we go to an explodey location because I, I need to see this thing. So I guess we'll go to Oil Wall North. <laughs> there should be a cube near the goods factory. Good to know. Sided cab it said it has B trucks on a six axle locomotive? I'm not sure actually. 
how the heck did I accumulate half a million dollars in debt? Um, watch the last live stream. It should become very apparent very quickly. Me being irresponsible, more or less. This is taking its sweet time loading between just for a map or a teleport across the map. I'm not sure what's going on. <laughs> Guitar stream? That could be a possibility if uh, if this continues on the way that it's going. <laughs> what are you doing, dear El Valley? Preliminary pea cups. Beautiful. It's got one in FPS, and I'm not, I'm not sure if it's locked up or not. Um, do we assume that we need to restart it, or do we let it sit? <laughs> Loading in all the ruined cars. It might be. You know what? I think we're going to force quit the DRL Valley and relaunch it. In which case, we will, in fact, do a guitar stream, probably. <laughs> yeah, I can't even close out a DRL Valley. Oh, it is hard locked. There it goes. Okay. Let's enable that preview there so I can see what the hell I'm doing. We get it relaunching here. And let me pull up some things so I can... Where is it? I need to make sure that you guys will actually be able to hear my guitar. Because that is a whole thing here. Where did that pop up? I've got four four screens on my computer, and it, it's always confusing it as to where it wants to uh, <laughs> do stuff. Oh, God, there he is. Oh, man, I'm even wearing my appropriate shirt for that Yugoslavian locomotive. I didn't even re realize it. I got back home, and it was like, oh, yeah, that would be a easy thing to put on, and it's, <laughs> it's a Croatian jersey. So let's see. Where is the thing? Output this thing like this, and now you guys can probably hear it. <laughs> The nice thing is that that's actually a uh, an emulated tube amp, so my neighbors can't even tell that I'm playing the guitar. <laughs> I play a 
eruption. I don't think I could play eruption if I tried. Eddie was a great for a reason. Play free bird. I can't play slide on this guitar. The action's way too low. I know the whole thing, but I'll leave you there. And uh, and then I guess we will uh, we'll jump off. To, yeah, F spam my way to the uh, oil wall. I think that's going to be the move. But we'll sign off with the last request, which was. self okay anyway <laughs> enough on the guitar stream front here now let me turn it off so you guys don't hear a uh, obnoxious buzzing for the next chunk of stream here i don't play that strat enough it's a great guitar Okay, we are loaded in. <laughs> we d we dropped our map. Okay. And why did my thing tab out? Anyways, hello there. Oil well. Oh lord. It's a long way to F spam. We can just jump along the railroad here. Do 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 do. Oh, managed to go underneath the playing level. It's fine. <laughs> no, no, nobody tell Dusty that <laughs> that I've left a a rear re grand SD whatever uh in the river over here. It's fine. <laughs> we we haven't paid for it yet, so it hasn't uh it hasn't deleted itself. So there it sits in the drink. Maybe someday uh, the dusty equivalent of Stothy will come down and repair it. There shouldn't be any buzzing. Is there? I thought I did the thing to make it so you wouldn't hear the buzzing. If there is buzzing, let me know. Don't get the map dirty. Well... Let's see. Almost there. Almost there. This is important stuff. Okay, the goods factory goes that way. Don't hear buzzing. Okay, good. Yeah, it's 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 just a Rio Grande scheme for uh, whatever the DE6 is. And the DE6 is a exported diesel locomotive of some flavor. All right, let's go see what we got here. Oh my god, these look so ridiculous. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we can give it the beans! <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna die over here. <laughs> the beans. I didn't even ask for these. Somebody just posted a link in my Discord that somebody had made this mod pack, and my logos ended up on the side of a bean can train car in Deer Hill Valley, and I love it. I guess I guess we gotta figure out a way to run some beans and some boys. <laughs> okay, so this is this is a cut that. Uh, oh, it's a shunting job. I don't know if I want to. If we have to shunt to get the beans, then I mean, we will. We will do it. 
But what what do we have? I think we might have some more beans over here. We have more beans over here. I hope they're easier to derail. One would hope. Let's see. Okay, there, there's some, some beans that need to go to the harbor over here. Okay. So let's go look at our jobs that go to the harbor and see if we can <laughs> do one of them. Oh, Lord. Where's the station office? Oh! The cube! It's here! Yes, the cube! I'm, I'm assuming this is what they mean by the cube, because it's just this giant cube that's clipping through everything. <laughs> the cube! All hail the cube! <laughs> so... <laughs> This just makes me think of that uh, that spin-off joke episode of Rick and Morty where he's got to go to Bendigo, get his cube. Got to go get me cube. <laughs> I want my cube. I want my cubes and beans. Beans and cubes. All right. Harbor in town. Crude. Oh, lordy. We've got three, three cuts that we could take to the harbor that are ready. Oh my god. <laughs> and, and we have and we have so many more that we could prep. Oh hell. We we could we could build a really we could build a really big explodey boy train. How many cuts is that? One, two, three, four, five. We could we could have eight cuts. Of stuff for the harbor. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll figure them out one by one. Time bonus, 18 minutes. Two pickups. Well, that's probably annoying. I don't know. Do I, do I grab all the switching jobs at once? I don't know what to do with these. Let's, um... Two pickups, one pickup, two pickups, two pickups. The two pickups ones are going to be the annoying ones. You know what, we'll, we'll do this one. But it's I'm going to try and do this, and it's going to yell at me, and it's going to say that I need to pay something, because I have... It knows that I have money. Well, 93,000. There goes some dollars. And then the next things I can only pay are these ones. <laughs> so we're drinking every time the train reverses during shunting. Oh, man. I, I, I'd play that game with you guys. We could totally break general rule G. My, my future boss isn't watching the stream. Actually, he might actually watch. He would probably actually be game for that. All right, ladies and gents, the drinking game is every time we re we reverse direction while shunting is a drink. Captain Lag Spike. A, what a great name. And B, welcome to the East and D train crew. Let's see. And in honor of my future boss, we're going to run a Rio Grande painted uh, locomotive here. You, you. Yes, you. <laughs> All right. A deadly game indeed. I've only got Coors, so it's it's not like I'm slinging slinging whiskeys around here. All right, start this thing up. Oh God, I love Zybox sounds pack. Sounds so much nicer. All right. Uh, did we accept that job? No, I didn't. The SL06. I could go figure out where all these cars are. I don't want to. Why? <laughs> There's probably a perfectly good technical reason for the cube, but I don't get it. Okay, we got B2S and C1S, and then we got to load them and dump them on the three. B2 and C1. Oh, those are two separate yards, so B2 is going to be by me. Oh, it's two of the, the 98 and the 93. Are we going to have to dig out bean cans? Or are they, are they back here somewhere? They're probably way back here somewhere. Oh, is it the last two bean cans? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll... Do we dig them? No, I guess we could... 
We'll kick the beans. We will kick the beans. I'm just gonna unlock that coupler and then we will shove into them and kick the beans. We're gonna we're gonna give the beans the beans. DE6 is uh, based on the EMD G16. Oh, okay. Oh, so this is really just the um, the slightly less the not high hood version of the 661 that boss made. Okay. That's neat. Time for bean delivery. Does Thomas speak Spanish? See. <laughs> All right. Uh, switch. We're lined in. We're lined in. I think actually we are lined all the way to the B2. There's more than one cube? Yeah, I seem to recall that the cubes were a, a many thing. Has a remote to throw switches, still gets out. It's fine. Have I got my passenger license yet? Yes, I have, actually. We haven't done a video about it, though. We ran one passenger job on one uh, one live stream, and then I've been intending to uh, to do a video about it, and then there's just been too many other videos to make lately. Adiro Valley kind of fell off with the trains, uh, trains in World Steam. Don't hurt those beans, boy. Don't hurt them. Don't hurt them too good. Now give the beans the beans. Well, this is just the stupidest thing I've ever seen. All right, we're officially kicking all this stuff, so we will take a nice big set on the train. We will throttle off, go this way. Oh, not that we hooked the air in, ding dong. It's fine. More steam. All right, that's that's a drink. We changed directions. We just throw the reverser again. And our bean cans didn't quite make it into the clear yet, so that'll be interesting. We're gonna pull the beans. Not that, not that fast though. Not that fast though. Get me in the cab. Get me in the cab. Brakes. That's it. brakes. All of the brakes. Oh Christ! Why does the throttle go that high? <laughs> hey! It was empty. They're not killed. The engine's not killed. No one got hurt. Nobody needs to tell management. Nothing happened. Turns out the DE6 likes to accelerate quickly. All right. Oh, 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 what, oh, what, 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 oh. Oh, the switch is still lined the other way. <laughs> so the, uh, the cars were trying to go the other way still. Okay, that's um, that is a vibe. No pickups. We did not derail. No, there was no FRA reportable incidents. Put away the pickups. I know everyone's excited to play with the pickups, but not justified at this time. Did we get that air hose. I think we did. No, we didn't. Okay. Can you, can you, there we go. Now we got it. <laughs> yes, angry shack face is good. Gently shove the beans. Well, we've been rather mean with our beans. We're actually hauling a consist of refried beans at this point, I think. Oh, 
not sure if he's even going to fit in the tunnels in this game. All right, then we got some on the C1 that we gotta go get. Oh, I could have sworn I got the reverse to throne. Just dump it. That's fine. It'll it'll come back to us and it'll be doing like 90. It's fine. Line that switch. It's the C1, right? Probably. Hey, God, this thing is going fast. Uh. The C1. 673967. Okay. 673 and the 967. Is it more beans? It's presumably more beans. It is more beans. Yes. We're making a consist of beans. I'm just thinking of that scene in Hot Fuzz where Simon Pegg is, uh, <coughs> sorry, Sergeant Angel is giving the whole rundown about how they, uh, how Mr. Skinner was, uh, committing all the, the murders and everything, and he, he goes, with judicious application of bacon and beans. And that, uh, feels like what we're doing here, so. Slam into the beans. The beans! Hi, Brett. Hey, Bryce. Welcome. Thank you for being an ESD train crew member. Beans! Pippi Slilly takes shot. Yep, pretty much. You want your peace, Lily? Hey, Bryce. Thank you for the super chat. All right. We've now got our four tins of beans coupled in. And I like how the game just knew that uh, it, it was me that was going to be running these, so it put my logo on all the beans. Because there's multiple skins. They don't all have my logo on them. Okay. Um, stun couple there. It's fine. Can I do a passenger job? Yeah, I should actually do a passenger job at some point, but we're building a giant explodey bean consist for the harbor. It's cursed. <clears throat> the beans probably don't fit in the tunnels. I don't think they do. Okay, so we're going to go load this. And then we gotta stash it on the the C three O. Okay. What are those beans carrying? Um, presumably methane and or farts, because they explode later. They're currently empty. switch. That switch. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, the beans. <laughs> the spicy beans. Beans! Yeah, these are just... That is, this is the silliest thing I've seen all week. <laughs> what happens in the game if you let yourself get run over? Just kind of get run over. Oh, and then sometimes you get stuck in between wheel sets, but... <laughs> be neat if the cans were closed and they do that would actually be a, a neat funny thing all right ready to charge off into the sunset here I gotta go to the loady loady majigger up here and load loaded with beans sorry crude oil got a train full of crude oil <laughs> careful everyone these beans are explosive and flammable
catch fire, they'll be baked beans. Yes, they would. Instant baked beans. The beans have gotten heavier. One would think it'd be pretty easy to string lane a, uh, a can of beans, or a train full of beans. Because they're quite, <laughs> quite tall. <coughs> the cursed flat car. We'll see them on the way to the, uh, the harbor. Does the ingredients say human parts? You know, I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I briefly looked through them, but I didn't look at the, them that quickly. <laughs> confused what you're seeing. It's a train full of beans. I don't know what you're confused about. Thankfully, the bean cars are like a quarter car length long. <laughs> These four bean cars are like the length of this DE6. More cars, Mr. Tagrin. I think y'all have had about enough. Explode some beans. Yeah, good night, Thomas. Uh, going to the C3O. Let's get to the switch. Gotta put our beans to bed in their pan. Alright, we're shoving into an occupied explodey bean track. This is, this, is, uh, this is one of our trains for the harbor, so I guess we can start stacking things on top of this. You know, just because I want to say that I have... We're kicking beans. I've kicked the beans! <laughs> the beans have been kicked. Use scroll wheel on the career manager. Thank you. Makes sense. Anywhere in there is probably fine. All right. Will we get the first time bonus of many that we are going to attempt to get? Look at that. Yes. So 14 G's. All right. And now there's the new one. Deliver that crude oil that we just set up. So now. Now we have an equal amount of switching and those guys. Two pickups, two pickups. There's two big ones. That one's huge. And then these guys are small. With all the two pickups, I almost want to... I almost want to just grab all these at once. Make it confusing. Why not? Um, fees. Can we pay any of these? Yes, we can. Although that's for our locomotive, so it might just let me accept it. Nope. Cool. So the only fee I can pay is for my locomotive, so I guess I will just do that then. Alright, and now... We are not going to be getting any time bonuses for these. But that's okay. We'll try and get the time bonuses when we go to the harbor with them. Okay, we got some at C1 and some at B2. C1 and B2. And then that giant one at B2. And then C1 and B2. <laughs> There are only two tracks in this place. C1, B2. Okay, I'm kind of glad that we grabbed all these because we're basically just going to grab everything from C1 and B2 and then just put that all together. You don't need to, oh, you don't have to reach down? Okay, well, that's handy. All right, 
And now we will cycle the breakers. Tink, tink, tink. Spank that door open. Spank that door open. Wub, 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 wub. Oh, it shut down. Oh lord. No, 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 no. Don't let your locomotive try to start in notch five. Okay. There we go. More more gooder. Alright. Got one cut there. We got some boys. All right. It's actually, you know, an unintense, unintended consequence of having all of these different modded tank car skins is that it's really easy to tell which job is which because we've got all these ones that are Dylan VA's really nice uh, <laughs> uh, tank cars. And we've got the boys. And then we've got another set of, yeah. So that's funny. All right, we'll let that do that. Maybe we'll go tie some air in. Now that we're under the way, you know. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, that's how you do that, right? Okay. Wish we had a separate cut lever from the actual couplers themselves, but I understand the limitations that Cybok is working with, so. I'm just happy that he made a brilliant knuckle couplers mod anyways. Get that winged together there. Put that put up. Probably don't need all this air for all the switching that we're gonna do, but I'm gonna hook it up anyways. You wanna you wanna there we go. Alright. That's how that works. The boys. Cubes and beans. New live stream title. Cubes, beans, and boys. Alright, we'll just uh, dump the brake pipe. There was no dumping of the brake pipe that was had. We did not connect the brake pipe all the way. <laughs> something something is not happy there. It's fine. We'll just slam the independent on and put it in like notch six in reverse. Because I hate having fuel in my locomotive. And then we will line ourselves for the B2. Which is where the rest of the train cars are. And then we will go stop this DE6 from going Mach 6. Is it our own air? No? Some amount of air is not set up. The air comes back at least that far. Did we miss this one? No? Maybe there's two cuts of these, uh, these guys. Oh yeah, there is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and immediately the brakes slam on. Come on, keep going. Something, something terminal air brake test. <laughs> yeah, those are those are overrated, Jeff. We haven't left the terminal yet. That's fine. We're now gonna mate up with our beans here. Mmm, <laughs> flat spots. Dude, flat spots are the tastiest. Ow. 
Ouch. I've seen BNSF couple worse than that. <laughs> See, 100%. 100%. Can't even touch this stuff. All right, well, the beans are laced up. <laughs> this giant train of beans. Okay, and now we'll tie the giant train of beans to this. Presumably, we should probably just put, like, trains with, like, trains and go from there. But we might be able to fit this whole mess on the loading track. No, I don't think we will. Well, that's okay. At least once we have it all put together, the HUD will tell me what mess is where, and then we can kind of reorganize it as we need to. some brake cylinders here. I'll shove everyone over to the B6 and see how many that we can load up. Can of beans emote. We have a can of beans emote. It's not quite as nice as this can of beans, but it's, it's a can of beans. There it is. The beans. I did. Somebody asked me if I knew what it was in chat, so I just whistled it at them. Okay. Yeah, we got mix mismatch of jobs all over the place. I need to get my locomotive remote paired up here. So we can actually do this properly. I think I hit tonnage a few cuts ago. Probably. Well, we only have 1,200 tons in tow right now, and they're all empties. Joshua Dupay, welcome to the ESD train crew. Thank you. Let's give it a little more, a little more gas here. The beans. <laughs> will beans clear the tunnel? You know, I don't think they will. They're quite tall. The caboose is needed for this train, probably, once we get the whole thing built. <laughs> right, I'm going to start setting it up back here. Explodey first, safety last. That is our motto here, sir. Oh, that stopped nice and abrupt. And we've got a locomotive remote, so why not also have a switch remote? Okay. Turn off the screen preview over there, see if I can get a couple more FPS. A ice surfer, ice sir. Oh, there's a space in there. Ice surfer, fourteen oh five. Welcome to the ESND train crew. Thank you. The most cursed whites notification for you to draw. I don't know if I feel like the Pennsylvania Railroad beat everyone to the actual cursed <laughs> white notation <laughs> locomotives. You recommend not pulling a Casey Jones in this run? You mean not throwing what'll be eight consists of exploding beans off the side of the railroad? 
yeah, the rain is a mod. Yeah, I've got the procedural sky and uh, and weather and all sorts of stuff going on, which is making the FPS sad, but it's making the, the game pretty. We're, we're being very careful with this cut of cars, despite us not uh, not carrying it for train safety at this moment. Oh yeah, and this track is way shorter than the other one, so we're, we're not going to get near this whole mess on here, but we'll see if we can't get some of this loaded. Four, four, six, four is abnormal. I mean, you know... Actually, no, this might actually be longer than I'm anticipating, because this track, it runs further down this way. So I don't know, we'll see. Set up a little air. Yeah, we got 37 cars with us right now. Okay. And we can get, we have all but the first chunk of the train is in here now. <laughs> So I guess we'll do this. <clears throat> we'll load up everything we can load and then see where they need to go and kind of divvy them up that way. Dunk, dunk. Doing the dunk, dunks. And the tonnage rating increases. We're just adding some jalapenos to this. All right, the SL82. Can't. Oh, and we got cars from that all over the place. Wait, the SL63. Why didn't that one load? Does it want to go? I saw 63? 62? Oh, do I have a cut of cars that is not even a job that I want? <laughs> <coughs> that sounds like something stupid I would do. So I don't have a 63. Nice. Okay. What's the SL63? Ah, yes. The, the, only, the only other one. Do we have all four of its cars? Two pickups. SL63. Yeah, we have all four of its cars. So, I mean, we might, we might as well load it. Because guess what? It was... Okay. Needs to go to the B3 O. But why is that it not updating? Do we not have all... I don't know what's going on with that, that cut. We might throw that job away. Who knows? <clears throat> okay. So... Apparently, the last several cars are not wanting to load. So we have this one, this one, this one, this one. So we cut here. Okay. And then we could put this guy on the B4. And then the other guy's got to go on the C3. All right. Well, I guess we'll start. Uh, we'll start sticking these where they they gotta go. <laughs> Living up to the, the Penn Central tradition of randomly including the wrong cars. Yeah, it's yeah, it's pretty accurate. Kick the sixty-three. <laughs> well, you know, that's a that's a possibility. 
train got a lot heavier. We're going to need more power. And the B4 is just straight back right here. And we've got two cuts to put on the B4. Some that have to go on the C3. Well, that's just going to be annoying. Oops, teleported way too far. Teleported inside one of the boys. Keep pulling there, friendo. Come on. Oh, the independent brake's partially set. That would be why. Beans. <laughs> Unlimited power. What mods do I have installed? At the beginning of this VOD, you'll see the whole list um, when the live stream ends, but I think I can just... Yeah. These are the mods. Objectively too many. <laughs> but it is fun. Okay, so those three cars need to go on to the sea yard so we can just kind of build a train for the sea yard off of the switch and then we can deal with the rest of these I think okay set them up put it in forwards probably going to hurt when the slack runs out. There's the switch. Come on. It's forwards the wrong direction. Don't want to put it in reverse. I think I wanted to put it in reverse. Nailed it. Yeah, that would be the problem. Come on, sweetheart. I know it's 1,800 tons, but you can move it. <laughs> Why is it night in Deerell Valley? Because uh, nighttime came upon us. Because we've got wonderful stuff in the mod community here. All right, so we'll just do that. One of those. Just gently kick the the explodey boy. <clears throat> we'll deal with that in a minute. I'm get these cars out of the way. This car might not actually roll all the way to the destination. Find out. Coupler's readied though for when the time comes. We are lined in, and I gotta say, with the light sniper, with all these extra yard lights, really pretty. In the cube! The cube! There it is. Oh, come on, you. Gotta pull for like another two feet. <laughs> the, the sunset, that's why, yeah. Yeah, the, the, yeah, no, in the base game there isn't any. You're absolutely right. And now we put it in reverse, and we slam the throttle on, and then we do the same thing of cut the air there, cut the air there, cut the coupler, go check on our boy. He's almost made it. Will his explodey boy brethren welcome, welcome him into the pack? Bunk. There we go. Cut the air in. Meanwhile, back in Nowheresville, 
the next set of cars we have need to go back to the B6. So I guess what we can just do is... Perp. Later, boys. That's the way I like to pop my air hoses. Now we're riding beans. All right. So we need to go to the B5, oh, with this act, this next big cut, actually. Uh, with the comms radio. B5 is there. So we got this. We want to line that. We want to line that. Grab our choo-choo, tell it to stop shoving so hard. <clears throat> Maybe these could actually just roll all the way to the C3 for all I know. Line switches and see what happens. They're not going that fast. Did that little set just kill this train that fast? Yes, yes it did. All right. Sorry, I'm trying to be a brakeman kicking hazmat and also doing stuff. How did I become a steam locomotive engineer? I spent a lot of time volunteering and doing everything else and was offered a shot at it when the time came. All right, these are going sufficiently slow. I'm going to leave them alone. You've run out of beans. <laughs> Northern Maryland rail, rail fan, I just answered that a little bit. How did I become a steam locomotive engineer? I showed up, volunteered, put time in, did the dirty jobs, worked hard, you know, did my dues, and uh, when there was a shot at it, I was there, and people knew that I put my own time in and, and let me come have a shot at it, basically. I have no clue why I haven't had to pee yet. Right? <clears throat> The pea cups, they run wild. How's our shove work, or our, our kick working on that other cut over there? It is still rolling. It's impressive. Are they at least Heinz beans? I don't know. Someone said that they're made with body parts, apparently. Human feces are in there, actually, too. Yeah, it's uh, a list of ingredients, apparently. Guess we can set the independent break up here. How many jobs does this have we got? Five switching jobs on our person right now. We're ultimately building an eight car or an eight consist train for the harbor. We need skins for different kinds of beans. Yes. God, the slack action of all the beans. There we are. Okay. Pa Paspchi? Paspchi? Sorry, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Welcome to the ESD Brakeman. Okay, or sorry, ESD Train Crew uh, Conductor. Okay, we need to go to the B6L. I guess we could probably run the what's left of the consist there now and, and load the rest of it and then sort it out from there. I'm not sure I got in here when, <laughs> when I've had this remote the whole time. These cars still rolling? No, they are not. They have stalled out right there. Well, we will just dump their air. Make sure they're set up nice and hard. This is only 561 tons of train anymore, so we should be able to abuse it pretty, pretty nicely here. How many bean cans? I'm not sure. We'll have many, many bean cans uh, coming up quick here. Is there a tender behind the DE6? I don't think there is. Morning, Christopher. It's 10.36 p.m. my time. But... <laughs> I 
All right. Let's see if we can go knuckle into those other boys and then uh, load the rest of these and sort them out. Yeah, we're, we're going to need another engine at least because we're, we're going to have probably close to 3,000 tons of train. Looks like everything's at the destination here, so we don't necessarily even need to knuckle into him, but I think we will. Yeah, the uh, the bean cans have their volume vertically. Use DE twos. <laughs> I hate DE2s, though. There we go. Bang. Oh, that didn't sound like it knuckled. It did not, because we did not ready the coupler, because shenanigans. It's fine. All right. Air is tied in. Got all the madness now. Uh, it's over here. Load. Bunk, 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 bunk. All right, all the trains are now loaded, and we now know where the rest of them need to go. And thankfully, most of the rear guys need to end up in the B3. So we will take them there. What's this DE6 doing on fuel? It's doing pretty good. Okay. What's worse, the DE2 or Janie Couplers? I don't have a DE2, I think. <laughs> they, I was talking with Dusty after that video aired, actually, and there's actually a mechanical defect with the, the Janie that we were struggling with at the end. Yes, Janies are more annoying than most couplers, but yeah, no, that one that we were struggling with was extra annoying, so... <laughs> yes, that's that's the the vibe here. We got a bunch of boys in here, a bunch of explodey boys. Am I gonna put my whistle in game? Uh, yeah, if I can get a really good recording of it. I didn't like most of the recordings I had. I couldn't get a good solid loop out of it. So when I live in Colorado, I should be able to record it pretty easy, I imagine. Hook and screw are a functional Janie. A functional Janie. Hook and screws are stupid. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. Being a Janie is a mechanical defect. Well, that is an opinion. That is a fair opinion. What's with the beans? What's not with the beans? They're highest logo branded beans. Yeah, push-pull cut lever sucks. An actual lift. Like, a, a real AAR type coupler is a lot better than a Janie, but, I mean, I would still take a Janie. Any flavor of knuckle over, <laughs> over some of this junk. Alright, so we're putting a good chunk of this. What, the last five cars on the three? We'll probably have to shove those other guys out of the way a little bit. What pressure should the six chime be operated to get the most out of it? I mean, it kind of depends. As you increase pressure, it just kind of increases the pitch. Um, there, there is like a, not not necessarily a minimum, of course, but there is. Uh, you kind of want to get a good hundred, really, before you get the true like presence of it. If you don't have a hundred psi, you don't really seem to have too terribly much excitement going on. But it, once you have at least a hundred, it it works pretty well. And then, you know, up to 200 is, is pretty fine. You start getting above that. And usually most valves don't really allow for full boiler pressure to be coming through anyways. And if they do, they get screaming high pitched usually. Yeah, Lincoln pin is confirmed the worst. Lincoln pin is worse than screw buffer style, but... Did 
Did I catch the Parade of Steam today by chance? No, I didn't. I didn't realize there was a Parade of Steam somewhere. That's cool. Oh, we're gonna have a mess of, a mess of things here and there. We'll probably have to sort it out before we get the whole train rolling. It's fine. It's fine. You can couple it that fast. <laughs> Bunk. Um. The 867. This one for the B3O is the last one. And then this car is no longer has a destination because it's going somewhere else. Okay, so then we can do this and then set the choo choo two forwards, put it in a light amount of throttle, and I guess we'll turn in a job just to not have so much paperwork on us anymore. 63 is done. Oh my god, we're going to get the bonus for that? Are you kidding me? I guess it's because we took the job late, but whatever. And then I was like, train, come back. Oh, we've just barely gotten... We haven't even passed the switch all the way yet. Come on, sweetheart. Are the Soviet style knuckles similar to Janie's? I don't know. Um, I've only heard bad things about them, though. Comms radio. Where'd you go? There you are. Okay, we're now lined in for the B4. Got two cars for the B4. Then a bunch of cars for the C3, and then last couple cars are going on the B3. Okay. Why are Janie so stupid? Go watch the... Oh, this is the B2. Come on. Who's been awake for too long today? This guy. Let's go the other forwards now. Go line ourselves for the uh, the four now. You get the strongest steamer in the fleet and get to haul as much beans as possible. That would be fun. Uh, the latest video I posted, the Switching 101, there's lots of moments where Janie couplers are frustrating. Are we up to poisoning that so many? No, I've, I've actually run out of beer and I haven't had a chance to go get more because I'm streaming for you guys, so. <laughs> suppose we could, uh, once we finish the switching jobs, maybe I'll go grab another one or something, but. Unless we want the switching to get more spicy now, in which case I can always go get more beer now. I won't be <laughs> dissuaded. Alright, let's see. Tunk. Now we're lined into the four. Oh, the Parade of Steam is at the Cass Road? Cool. I don't know much about Cass. Yeah, 3,900 class. That's pretty accurate. Make the switching spicy. <laughs> Have tipsy ice take the explosives to the harbor. That's usually a recipe for bad, bad train handling. <laughs> Switching's already kind of spicy. There we are. 
All right. We can cut out these two boys. And then three of these cars? No, five of these cars. Two through four, so that's these three cars are going teleports directly over the top. This is car four. So those three guys are coming back over to the B3, but then we're going to kick these over towards the C3. Right. It's a recipe for good content, though. They understand. I can't pronounce your name because there is some Cyrillic in there, but cheers. Greetings from down under, and uh, glad you're volunteering at your local steam railway. That's that's really cool. <laughs> it's just the, <laughs> the three geared locomotives. I knew they had geared locomotives, but that, that was about all I knew about Cass, so... But we need money, so safety, please. Chrome being for real. Alright. Let's see if we can't get past the switch here. And we'll just use the throttle as a brake. Alright, and so the car four is right there. Unlock a coupler, do one of them. Get it going at a somewhat decent clip. And then we just wait for the opportune moment. Dunk. Just like that. And we're kicking hazmat into hazmat. It's a thing of beauty. We're now going to the B3O, which means we want to line this switch, line this switch, and we're going to have to shove back a little further. But I'm going to ride this kick, I think, for a second. Although this is rolling so slowly, I don't know if I care if it hits, so. It's not a Derail Valley stream, stream without boom. We had a lot of booms last time. We, we, we had too many booms last time. Maybe we'll get the money for the gig first, and then we'll blow up the whole train. That's usually a pretty smart way to do it, in my experience. Bunk. There we go. Tie the air in. Oh. <laughs> That's not the button I was looking for. Here. You run the train. Later. <laughs> Hello, Ashley. Welcome. No, we're just shoving into cars with no brakes. It's fine. Come on, DE6. Sound off like you got a pair. Is kicking trains actually done in real life nowadays? There's an instant piss cup. How oh, they actually do... Uh, kick cars still sometimes. It's kind of rare, but yeah, it is still done. And it, depending on what railroad you work for, it is or isn't banned. Some railroads still allow getting on and off moving equipment, so lots of different rules out there. Alright.
strange things are going on there with the slack action, because buffers. It's fine. Dynamite those. Now we'll pull away. Watching this from a Gmod media player in a train build server. That's awesome. I need to play more train build. Not that I've really played train build, I was not very good at it. But. How's the gas looking? Good question. Surprisingly okay. We won't have to pay 17 billion thousand dollars to refuel this thing yet. This just kind of aim vaguely at the hazmat. We'll go turn those other jobs in. That one's still in progress. That one's done. Yay, money. That one's done. No bonus timers here. We kind of knew that. It's going to be easier to do them all at once and get the whole thing done overall much quicker. It's the last thing that we're trying to do is shove those last couple cars in. How do I have only one job left? Oh, hang on. Yeah, because it's a lot more cars. That's why. And you're just still creeping along there, bud. All right. Oh, Christ, D6, why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me? You look away for a quarter second and... Oh, the car goes zero. But the vehicle's fine. It's flammable. It's not explosive, though. I had to know. I didn't know. I had to know. <laughs> okay, well, well, it's, it's, it's fine. Insert the clip of punishing this mortal for his own hubris. It, it was just flammable. I didn't have to uh, get my lighter to go. But, you know, oh, my locomotive's on fire, so it's actively burning. Well, we should probably get it out of here then. Does it matter at this point? I don't think it matters. Just add to the total. <laughs> it melted the glass. Oh, is it derailed? It's derailed. Well, then finish blowing yourself up, damn it. Well, that's a vibe. Um, I guess I'm going to leave that doing that and uh, we'll figure out what jobs we can run to the harbor because we're not uh, we're not we're not getting that job anymore some cars uh, derailed right right where's the bin there's the bin right there directly to the bin with you fees it's well you know it's it's fine. We've only committed atrocities against three locomotives now. 
sweep it under the carpet. Um, yeah, so uh, we're going to put this uh, the whole train together here, but I think um, we don't want that one. Or that one. We want the seven jobs. It's not eight jobs. Seven jobs. And uh, I'm going to get a, a beer real quick, so I'll be right back. <laughs> sea flammable liquid first thought lighter well you know <laughs> all right let's grab these jobs it's just a uh, just a couple jobs okay so we have the 83 the 24 the 25 the 43 the 19 the 77 75 <laughs> that's a couple a couple jobs. That, that'll just... It'll eventually overheat and shut down. Okay. So... Or I Pyromane in TF2. No, it's a Demo Man, actually. Which I think is equally... <laughs> equally apt. Let's see. So, I need to write this down. This always feels like so much crap to keep track of. Do I have... No, I don't have anything to write it down with. But I have a cell phone. Okay. We have the 83 that's going to the E8. Okay. 83. I guess we could just look through the. Oh, but we can't do that. All oh, right. Okay. 83 is going to the E8. 2 through 7. Oh, if we don't have that all put together here. Uh, oh, this is the City Southwest consist. So we're not grabbing this whole pile of junk. Okay. Interesting. And then we have <laughs> a gross mixture of 43 and 25 in here that we'll have to sort out. That goes all the way. That's whole cut. Okay, so 43 and 25. But they all go to the C2I, so we can just kick the C4 stuff out. So the 20, or the 43 and the 25. 25 go into the C2. Sorry, no, yeah, C2. Okay. Alright. Hey, the Tucci finally shut up. Thank God. Alright. And then we're not grabbing those. And then we have the beans and boys over here. And they're the 19 and the 24 going to the G5. That's convenient and the 24 to the G5. That's five of our jobs. And that's like all the cars over here. So the rest of them got to be in the other yard, which I don't even know if we can actually get to because of our own hubris here. So I can't get to them from this end of the lead without paying to clear all of this crap, and I don't have the cash for that. So we got two cuts of beans. <laughs> So the 75 goes to E9. And then we have the 77 that also goes to E9. Well, that's too easy. I think we can run around the, uh, the loop and grab those guys. 
Because we've got three cuts for the E yard, uh, two cuts for the G yard, two cuts for the C yard. It should be pretty easy. So, and we do have a run around track here. So we can run around those and then sneak back out. Okay. So I guess we'll put those guys at the... Well, we almost want those on the rear. Because we can just run through the E's and drop them off. I don't know if it really makes a difference. Run through the E's, drop them off. There's two cuts the same track. It's pretty easy. But so is the G. But if we left our mess, if our mess still hasn't cleared up, <clears throat> then that's a problem. So yeah, we'll probably put those two at the rear. And then we'll get our cuts for the G yard, which is these cuts ahead of them. Which means that we'll grab these three guys last thing here. So we'll, we'll, we'll sort out this mess first. Get all the sea yard cars together. We'll knuckle into these three cars. We'll grab these guys and then we'll go, okay. Right. We have a vague plan, but what train do we want to run? Safety, monologuing, spicy content. Good night. Cheers, Chrome. Let's see. How many tons do we have? 135. 360. 495. 184. 1100. 470. That's a lot. That's a lot of... That's a lot of tonnage. And you know what sounds like a stupid idea? I think this sounds like a stupid idea. We're just gonna... We're just gonna do one of these. And then we're just gonna do one of these. And then we're just gonna do... Cancel, enable, and just do one of these. And then... Just do one of oh uh, those, and we need to have better skin action than this. Come on, if we're running a double header steam. <laughs> Let's see, where is our comms radio skin? Uh, default uh, we could do we'll do a UP double header why not and I guess we could leave this one as the road engine or the helper engine we don't need it put on yet so I guess we could actually just pull away from that guy I post this unedited on YouTube. Yeah, the the VOD will automatically get put on YouTube. And thankfully, our mod gives us not full boiler pressure, but pretty high boiler pressure to start. Let's get a little coal in there. Toss our lighter in. And now, what whistle did we get blessed with? Polar Express whistle for all you Sierra Nevada fans. All right, let's back this thing up. Which ones are we getting first? We're sorting out the mess first, right. And we are lined into the mess. Do I like Rick and Morty? I've watched some amount of stuff, but 
some amount of episodes, but I don't really, can't really say I'm a huge fan. Have I rec rectified my financial situation yet? No, I've made it worse. <laughs> I've made it worse on many levels. Um, I don't want to deal with air brakes doing... Well, actually, I'd probably rather have air and then being able to kick stuff. So I guess we'll charge this up. And then figure out what the heck we need to do. So, three through five, we want... One, two, three... But then six, we don't. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, we don't. Seven, we do. Eight, nine, ten, we don't. Okay, so we want this this black one, but not any of the silver ones, and not that black one. And then we want the boys. Oh, the boys, are, is that even this track? Oh, that is this, this track, okay. I wonder who that's named after. <laughs> Sly dog. All right, I think we will, we'll just cut them right here. And we'll bottle the air so we save ourselves some time later. And right, and so now eight through ten food factory, and then these are all okay. Perfect. How long is this stream? We have been going for two hours twenty-two minutes, and it'll probably be uh, maybe three hours by the time that uh, we're done. Maybe three and some change. They're, they're bean cars, because there's bean cars, man. Gotta have beans. <laughs> the headlights glowing like it's firebox flicker, which is kind of funny. They had electric generators on these, you know? Do the beans have physics? I don't think so. All right, well, we'll shove the tender onto our helper engine here, I guess. Bang. And we'll start to get some blower rolling, because apparently we need to do that. Oh, we need to have some amount of airflow as well. That's part of our problem. Ready, ready. Why are you so mad? Oh, it, it we knuckled it in. That's what's going on there. Okay. Did we clear the switch? No, we need to shove our own selves out of the way. <laughs> I guess we'll turn the independent off. We're about to let it drift, so we'll put it in a spot to drift. What whistle did we get blessed with on this one? Uh, is that the big boy whistle? I don't care for that. We'll probably reset it to Santa Fe 6. All right. Let's get this thing vaguely. Out the siding there. Okay. Michael Cutsinger. Thank you for the super chat. Good luck with the new change. Sad to see me go from the Rares Align team. Glad to hear it was on good terms. Keep up the good work. Yeah. It was it was really hard to leave Rares Align. Don't get me wrong. It's been a big thing. So. But I'm excited to see what, you know, what comes in the future here. I think good things are in store, having more time to do music projects, having time to to move and not worry and, and focus more on the YouTube. I mean, if you haven't noticed, I've been able to get out 
um, some more like big 101 and live in person videos since that's come out. So it's been a little bit easier. Okay, we're aligned somewhere that we won't destroy things. And we need to get rid of the last three cars. We'll just kick these. Because that's kicking. I want to do some kicking. And anywhere in there is fine. And then we can ready that coupler, pull ahead. Get that other car moved over. Onwards and upwards. What was that whistle? I'm pretty sure that whistles the um, the big boys whistle mod. I think someone made. He <laughs> kicked too much and explode. Well, that's pretty accurate. You gotta be real. Okay, line that switch. And uh, just because you told me I'd do it too much. We'll kick that as well. Wait, hang on, six? Oh, hang on. No, we've already made the, the knuckle, that's why. Okay, kicking that good car. Let it go. Open the throttle. Kick the brake off. Mind the switch again. Now we just need to kick this last one. Do that. Do the same thing. Kicking loaded hazmat into occupied tracks. It's great. It should be fine. Let's see. This will roll. Who will get there first? We don't care about this car, so we can just dump its brakes. And I guess we gotta shove back into this one anyways. So the switch is lined, so we will just back up. Go after it. Here we go. You made Southern 4501's whistle for Deer Valley, would I like it? I can't recall what whistle the 4501 wears. I imagine it's a pretty good one. It's a good engine. But I don't honestly know what it sounds like. And that made, and we didn't blow things up. Well, it didn't make, because I didn't have the couplers ready, but we can hook the air in. Be at the ready. And then immediately have it pop. Okay, never mind. Probably get this one lit off and doing stuff while we're waiting for a train to roll to a place. Fire door open, open wide. Here comes the train. Talk to it like it's your children. Open that. Open that. There we go. There must be one explosion of the Explody Boys per episode of Derail Valley. <sighs> that makes it hard to make money, but... There we go. Readied. Knuckled in. Air tied in. Still haven't knuckled in over here, so we need to shove back a little bit more. Do we have those other cars? What, we have three through six. Do we not? Oh, ready. Ready. They were both unlocked. I almost wish it said something like pin is pulled or something. Seven through 17. Okay, the air is recovering all the way to the rear. We can check that we have air at the rear. 
Okay, we've got our two cuts for the sea yard now. Okay. Dear Old Valley certainly has all the throttles backwards by default, but Zybox realiz Realism Mod fixes that, which you can see here by how that works. Okay, so next we're going to pick up these cuts, right? For e No, the G, the G cars, yeah. Next we're gonna pick up the beans, the beans and the boys. I don't know if we're gonna, this is gonna be a saw by right there. I think that'll fit maybe, but. I really need th this engine's just kind of in the way. I think someone else suggested running it over to the sea yard, which is probably a good idea. Let's try doing that. Let's see if we can't get out of the way of ourselves here. That's fine. It's fine. Hi. Hi, other train of ours. I'll just stash this in here for now. Just a couple steam engines messing around. This chuff does sound weird. It's not just you. Still have a ways to go getting out of the yard here. Okay. How's our pressure doing on this boy? It's not really coming up terribly crazy. Is the damper in the right spot? Now it is. Feed it some more coal. Let the pressure and water come up. Say is the best way to get good recordings of loco sounds to replace them with. Recording locomotives is really hard. Um, I got some good recordings when I was last in Colorado with GoPro cameras that actually recorded relatively solid audio. But I mean, the ideal thing is having a dedicated field recorder and dedicated dynamic microphones and being able to place them on locomotives and have them set up in the right place and then not have any interference of wind or dynamos or anything like that, which is kind of considerably challenging to achieve. That or having the know-how of a professional audio engineer that can scrub that stuff out for you. Wink. <laughs> this would have been easier with 3 de 6s Well, yeah. Durr. But we've done that already on the channel and this is more exciting. Plus, I get to, I, we get to have two whistles. So the next time I'm in Colorado, uh, I will be in Colorado full time starting in August, actually. All right. Is this one I remember what the? Uh, Z sounds command is. Uh, I think that's it. Much better. And that's not a Southern three chime. No, I'm aware. That's a Santa Fe six chime that I cut. Oh, and we were worried about that being a saw by and we're just going to just gonna not even worry about it. It's fine. Just about. It's cl it clears. 
We left it not in the foul. The grab irons don't clear, but you don't need those. <laughs> Whip out a lighter and explode the tank cars. That was the... I, I had to know. It said that it was flammable. And I wanted, to, I wanted to know if they simulated that. And of course they did. Bang. All right. We now have beans. We have beans. Do we have air all the way to the rear end of the beans and the boys? Now, son, mom and I need to tell you a little, little story about the beans and the boys. I mean, the birds and the bees. The birds and the beans? Alright, we got 2,300 tons. And we have... We gotta grab those last couple cars for the E yard. And then I guess we'll grab... Um, our other locomotive and swing it around and... Avoid our mess from earlier. And yet you still can't light a bunch of job reports on fire in the trash cans. Well, what's what's even the point when you can't set your paperwork on fire? What's the point of the video game? Am I right? The museum runs steam. It's hard to say how many times. It, it, it's kind of changed over the years. Um, it's not like every weekend or anything, and it's not... It's not even every other weekend, but it, I mean, it could be... <laughs> In the summer, it's usually a couple times a month. How many peas in a cup have you missed, Mr. Neterix? Um, at least one. And it was kind of self-inflicted, which was hilarious. But thank you for joining, and thank you for being an ESD train crew member. We're pulling out the beans and the boys. I don't know if the beans are going to clear. What's this other engine doing? Having pressure, but needing to have water. So we'll just do that and make the pressure disappear. And then just leave it sit. It is appearing that the, the, the beans also somehow clear that. It's fine. The safety's lifting up here. Alright, Choo Choo. You got it. <laughs> no worries, Tyler. No no shame if you don't want to join and be a member. If it's not your thing or you can't afford it, you gotta take care of you first. I just appreciate it if you can, but I appreciate all my subscribers, all the comments, all the interaction. Everyone's fun. I just try to give back a little bit for those that are able to contribute and help make this a, a reality for me because I'm really hoping that I can do this full time sometime. So I think that would be that'd be the real dream, be able to ju just work on videos, and not have anything else up, being able to travel around and go and see other railroads and making content with that. I mean, that would be awesome. So we'll see. <laughs> you join really late in the first you see is cars of beans. Yeah, you've been missing the bean cars, General Destruction. Welcome, and thank you for being a part of the train crew. Good morning from Romania. Cheers. Alright. Almost in the clear here. <laughs> ah, some giant cans of beans. <laughs> hey, cheers for the super chat, Mr. Neterix. Or is it a super sticker in that case? It's hard to tell. All right, that is in the clear, so we will beef the brake pipe there. Just crazy pickles. Could get a cheese in this consist. Yeah, we could use some cheese. But I'm lactose intolerant, so that would uh, that wouldn't sit well with me, I don't think. Okay, I think we can maybe 
kick the blower off finally, although we're about to use up a fair bit of steam trying to walk this thing back. Do the beans go through the tunnels? No, we've been asking ourselves that question. <laughs> Plenty sticks. We are still at the oil well north. <laughs> We're still putting this train together. We've finished switching in a very spicy manner, naturally. And, uh, yeah, we're... now working on putting the last of the train together. Though we'll be under our way to the harbor pretty quick here. Oh, that's approaching quite quickly, isn't it? Alright. Hello, train. Brakes work real real nice. Okay. Uh there we go. Unlocked, unlocked. Okay. Unlocked, unlocked. Looks like the air is run through that one. But then there's one single car right here. Yeah, so we gotta get this guy the ready coupler. Ready coupler, okay. And then we want to unlock that guy. Pop that. Here we go. All right. So the train should start working back. The amount of throttle that I had on it. Unless the engine's doing a burnout up here. Or the air is not recharged all the way. No, or it's just sitting up against a brick wall. Come on, sweetheart. until we see 45 cars. Although we have cars in emergency back there, that's probably... We're probably shoving some crap at this point. Nighttime has fallen upon us once again. Once again? Once again. Oh yeah, we were shoving all sorts of crap. We're kicking hazmat in the... Oh, hazmat that has no brakes. That's fine. Where is it going to go? Hey, kids. This is why spring switches are bad. So that when you kick the hazmat, <laughs> you can line the switch against it and have it go in the dirt. But I guess we'll just wait till it hits the buffer and hopefully it doesn't explode. All right. So we have... This is our choo-choo. Go to here. We do not have air on the rear because we need air right here. Right? Oh, teleported right past it. Ding dong. There we go. Air, air. Car resets. We have air on the rear. We now have jobs C2, C2, G5, G5, and E8. <laughs> okay, and now we need to go get the light last two cuts for E9. So we only have 44 cars, 2,400 tons so far. And now we've got to go get a bunch more beans. So we got to pull into the clear to then run around this thing. All right. Yeah, the day-night cycle actually really adds a, a cool vibe to the game. People always talk about day-night cycle, and I'm like, I don't know. What's the, what's the deal? But it's cool. Come on. You've got so much tonnage behind you, you sweetheart. You would not be wanting to slip right now. See what happens when you go in the tunnel. Yeah, well, we will be running to the harbor, so we will be going through a tunnel at some point. Oh man, I see an O with an umlaut, and I know that I can't pronounce it already. Salohain? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. Welcome to the ESD train crew. 
gamer moment, yes. Alright. So, we need to be on that track up here. What's the difference between a, tra a train and a choo-choo? There is no difference. That's the secret. Say Lohine. Say Lohine. Okay. It does have a headlight. Yeah. It's kind of bizarre. It kind of flickers like the fire does. But yeah, it does have one. Despite it being modeled like it's a uh, electric headlight. Kind of does a flicker thing. I don't know. Might be a limitation of how much dynamic lighting they can have on one asset or something. I don't know. What is the weather mod? It's part of the day night cycle, like realism and skies mod. What's our other engine doing? Is it just part of the blower just raging? How have you not made steam yet? <laughs> Get up to operating pressure, you ho. The difference between a train and a choo choo is class lights. Well, that's, I mean, that's kind of fair. All right, get past the switch. Okay. And now we shove back. Just run to the head end here. Put her in reverse. Give it some throttle. We'll just let that do whatever it does. Okay, so this lines us there. We're lined through that switch. We go around the scary sharp curve around the backside here. And then we want to line ourselves into the C3, and then we go pick up some beans, and then we highball. And we see the cube! And we've just about cleaned out the, uh, the oil north, other than the one job that we didn't want to bring, and then the job that we blew up. Yeah, we've been gone for a while. And yes, this is a mod. Nighttime is a mod. My derail valley is so much more modded than not these days. The cube! Come on, sweetheart. The cube is part of the light sniper mod, I believe. That add, it allows you to add lights. I can, ju I can just sit here and go to my... Uh, go to light sniper in my radio and I could say I want to create a an industrial lamp yes I'd like one there bang there we go lamp post bang so it's pretty cool for adding serious flavor here I suppose somebody should go, should go protect the shove of hazmat against hazmat at slow speed through a yard full of hazmat. I mean, beans. It wasn't a blow up, it was a test. Well, I mean, it, you're not quite wrong. That's procedural sky mod that adds the cube. The cube! Gotta go to Bendigo, get my cube. This thing's safety's finally popping. Okay. Uh, water. There we go. Continue to make pressure now there, sir. We'll just dial your blower back. This other train sounds like it's going really fast, but I realize it's just all of these wheel sets going across the, the frog and the bean carts. Meanwhile, we got the safety lifting up here and shoving up the fire door open.
Your loco will not blow up if you don't put water in the boiler in this game. It'll just stop making steam. Okay, so our last two cuts going to E9. God, I love Zybox Steam mod. You can't run Steam in this game unless you have that mod. My opinion. It's so much better. Someone should make a whistle mod of me making whistle noises. I want people to have that, yeah. That would be that would be glorious. Same difference. All right, where is our shove looking like? It's looking <laughs> looking like we still got a ways to go. Wasting steam, it's fine. When we could add some water. Let me just do that real quick. Let's go get our other choo choo real quick. Let's not get going too fast there, Bucko. <laughs> Whistle says, but I want to. <laughs> uh, Jake, Dragon Silverton's awesome. I would absolutely go. It's a it's a it's like a full day commitment to really ride it, but it's beautiful. Riding behind those engines is awesome. The, the DNS is great. All right, we're gonna create a double header on the fly here. Bang. Guess we'll run from the rear engine from now for now, for no reason in particular. Hydrate or dehydrate? That's pretty good. How close are we on this shove? Getting there. <laughs> this, is a, this is a ridiculous train, and we're about to add a bunch of beans to it. Aiden Aldrich, welcome to the ESD train crew. Thank you for joining us. Beans! Yeah, we're about to give it the beans. We've got some beans, but we want more beans. We only have 2,683 tons of some beans.
how much money do you have to throw at ice for him to say the, the say the word that you want me to say? Not, not much, mate. You don't have to throw any money at me. <laughs> Though donations and and everything are always appreciated, of course. I used to play uh, competitive Team Fortress too, so I I'm quite familiar with the term. Just dumps. Okay, that's fine. Just stops working immediately. Pops the safety valve. Sounds about right. Come on. Uh, the left. This is kind of the headlight switch. Doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> it's also the cab light, so we're just gonna shine lights at ourselves. I avoided the word because I mean he did say he would toss money at me to say the word. I'm just saying you gotta you gotta hustle a little bit, guys. Turns out it's quite hard to join channels on iPhone. It's not surprising. Sometimes cell phones can make some of that UI stuff really confusing. Are we shoving beans? We we've knuckled into beans. Readied couplers. Air's cut in. Do we have beans all the way? Are we all the way to... No, we're not all the way to the rear. We've got two distinct cuts of beans here. <laughs> cut a cut of bean. It's not a steak, Heist. Come on. <laughs> it's a little silly. All right. We have all of our beans. <laughs> 53 cars. 3,160 tons. 500 meters. It's half a kilometer of beans. We got two safety valves popping. Take pictures of this. Oh my god. What a good vibe. Why are we rolling? Oh, we're still going backwards because I still have throttle set on this. It's still wide open in reverse. That's why we're going backwards. <laughs> okay. Well, let's uh, put some coal in the hole here. Steamed up, ready, full of water. Steamed up, ready, just about full of water. <laughs> Emily with the $4.20. Say it, Heiss. Poggers. Poggers. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess we'll start getting this thing out. No, actually, I've always made this mistake. I don't know what my fees are doing. So we will... We will check our fee situation first, and then we'll send the train at perilously high speed going on. Let's see. Wallet. I have $45,000, so we can pay off some amount of this stuff. We could probably actually only pay that. Okay. Dunk. Cool. And then the $100 fee, which i that's hilarious. What the hell do we get a $100 fee for? Okay, so now we should be good. So we're gonna highball. We're gonna highball through the yad. <laughs> As you do, 420 poggers. Cube poggers. How's the DE6? The DE6 is dead. Left click screen. Yeah, I did get that to work once, Emily. Thank you. I, <laughs> old habits die hard. What can I say? All right, we've got coal in the hole in the other engine. We'll put some more in here and. that going we come in the second engine and we do a all right and we and we start getting these things to roll oh some of the trains a bunch of the trains still in emergency why is so much of the train still in emergency does it just 
not love me? Did we come apart? Did I not have a couple already somewhere in my life? Just gonna run down the train, check all these uh, thingy bobbers. Right at the end between the two sets of bean can. Oh. Oh, I hear it. Couplers weren't readied. Good call. Well, I'm glad that we did our big show offy. We're going to go highball speech and uh, thing. So let's just do that real quick. Come on, shove. Push like you mean something, sweetheart. <laughs> we have two of them for a reason, come on. I mean, I guess I could close the angle cock and help the problem, but it's more fun to listen to him struggle. Over there, chuffing away. Oh, jeez. Oh, hell. <laughs> Get me back to this mess of wheel slip. Now that we've got this mess sort of figured out, okay. B back to the rear end. This game needs multiplayer. Yeah, the beans the beans are explosive, man. They're explosive beans. You ever eaten beans and see what happens to your toilet afterwards? Come on. <laughs> All right, charge them up. Everything goes into emergency and everything starts to release. Let's check our fires. We're popping safeties in both of these things. This one's full of water, full of pressure. We have not quite a raging inferno in the box. We'll get a little bit more of one. 150 kilograms is pretty good. This one's got 84. Get it up to about 150 as well. Also doing good there. This one's still popping, but we could also have more water in it, so we'll just do that real quick. Okay, it says we have no brakes on. It's 30 miles to Chicago. It's nighttime out. There's a giant cube over there. And we're wearing sunglasses. Go get them, boys. The beans and the boys ride.
Multi-unit steam. Come on, we die like men. The whistle agrees we die like men. I was not cursing, but yes, this is actually the my, the whistle I use for my swears. I do need some more Scottish fire persons, right? All right, I got this one open wide, and now this one open wide. Safety valves popping on both of them. Whistle says, "Hell yeah." My frame rate says, oh no. Have I, oh, nope, 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 nope. We haven't done that. Good call, viewers. <laughs> we're just like, oh yeah, we're just getting out of town. Let me just do that real quick. The, the, the bean cars going over frogs always make me think that we're going 90 miles an hour, but it's just the bean cars doing bean car things. Alright, our lead engine. Okay, our safety valve just started lifting. It's fine. Choo choo. Yep. Alright. Speed limit is 60 coming up, and we are lined towards the steel mill. God, can we get this thing up to 60? We are wide open. And we have more steam, so I guess... We could give it a little bit more power. And now the fun begins. <laughs> <laughs> Whistle says yes, this is the fun. <laughs> Should I warm up some cups now or, well, we'll see. Let me just jump off, get in the rear cab. <laughs> the rear engine's whistle's like, no, no, no. Got him loaded up. Let me get a little bit of uh, water going and bring the cutoff back on this one a little. <laughs> this, this whistle doesn't know what to think, but... Yeah, the, the PC is working hard right now for these. What's the speed? We're not even doing 60 yet. Track speed is 60, so. been anything. We've got beans and boys counting on us. <laughs> Just the, the cans of beans in the distance. Good night, Ignition. Cheers. Sunrise over the beans. <laughs> yes. We're losing a little more pressure in this thing. And we're losing a lot of water, so I'll get the water going a little bit more. This one seems to be doing a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> the, the whistles are excited today, man. They're hauling the beans and the boys. A 101 video about couplers would be interesting. I'm gonna have to film some stuff at the museum though, so that'll probably be later this summer. This one's doing better. Time to eat more steam. Oh, I mean, you know, guilty. Okay, we got a 70 coming up in a minute, and then a and then a 50 later. So we're gonna shut this one off. <laughs> and it goes, yes, 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 please, God. And we'll get its water running real nice. And we'll wave at the diesel that's in the river over there. Hi. Oh, did we finally clean that up? We may have finally clean that up. I think it was at that spot, so. Yeah, we are still cooking along at almost 80. We got a 70 coming up in a second here. So we'll take a little set. Just to pinch a little speed down. Shut the power off. Only for a jiff, and then we'll get about it. If you crash the steam loco at very high speed, the whistle cord will go forwards. Okay, interesting. We got a 60 coming up. Oh, Christ. Don't mind if I grab all of the air. And I know that I'm li I'm lined into the steel mill, so we need to be ready to grab that switch. That's that one right there. Oh, grab it. There we go. Steel mill B, but we are lined into what God knows what track. B6? I don't want to run into steel at high speed. No, I think we're okay. Lined. Oh my god, it's lagging as we're blowing through here. Can get the power back on. <laughs> hello, hello, car, truck cars. Oh my god, those are so good. So freaking stupid. I can't rec I, I really should have remembered whoever made this mod because they're a genius, but. Didn't see the brake force go up. Oh, I wonder if the brake force only works if I reduce things from this locomotive. We're losing speed, so I'm gonna get this one wide open as well. Somewhere in Theresville. Welcome to the D-Rail Valley slideshow. Particle effects, what are those? You're very talkative today, Mr. Whist. Oh no! No, we did we <laughs> Oh Ramity. Alright. I'm just gonna dump it. I forgot. I forgot about my own hubris. Just dump it all. <laughs> if you haven't caught on, we we are uh, halfway across the bridge to the farm, and we're going to the harbor. So, oops. So, <laughs> let's get, let's get everything all released here, and then uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we missed the turn. We need to be over there. So um yeah, we'll uh we'll let that start to uh recharge real quick. What time bonus? Do we care about time bonuses? How are you slipping this hard, friendo? does not compute. Get your water nice and high while we're sitting here.
Both of them popping safeties. Very good. Can we go like we have a place to be today, please? SH282s? We have places to be. You were so excited about going places earlier, Whistles. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Court shack. Give it sand. Doesn't know if it wants to slip or not now. <laughs> Shoving 3,000 plus tons up a grade backwards. Get out of here with your physics. I know it's in your name, but come on. He was cleared to op occupy this track second. Probably not. Oh man, the, I wanted to not have to use all this sand, but apparently we do. Just use the sand. It's what the people want. Steamers are 800 each. Um, that's stock, not with Zybox mods. Yeah, God, this is a long train. <laughs> the dispatcher's fault, right? How's our water doing? We're popping the safety valve, so we'll just fill that up real quick. And same story here. Cool. Probably let the blowers die back. What's the modded capacity? I'm not sure. I think uh, Zybox mod says uh, unlimited, just depending on how fast you can do it, technically, but. Starting to gain some speed here, so I guess I will kick the sand off. Almost backed up to the station. The boys and the beans. The beans and the boys. So I'm going to shut this one off, and I'll get it prepped for launch, and then we'll get in this one, shut it off, get it ready, and we'll test our theory about the braking, I'm setting an application here. Yeah. So my brake pipe doesn't follow. 
from the lead engine because derail valley. Yeah, you have to brake from the rear engine or set the brake valve to lap in the rear engine. Interesting. So now we're getting lots of braking force. But now when I release it, what does it do? Does it release all the way? Because I bet it doesn't. Yeah, I have to, re I have to release it manually. Okay, so now we'll go line our switch, and then we've got this huge grade coming up. How are, how's our BPs? Pretty much there, so let's try it again. Get this thing going as fast as we can here. sand going just because this is going to be where we're going to need to use it. Get the coal in the hole here. Speed and power. Yes. The beans. We're giving it the beans and the speed and the power. BP bean pressure. What's his bean pressure? Trying to keep close to 200 kilograms in there. It seems to be pretty good. <laughs> A duel of the talkative whistles, man. It's kind of hilarious. We've got a fair bit of cutoff. I mean, we're still like 40% cutoff on either engine. God, this one's in 70. Yeah, this one can come back. And we're just walking away with it, man. But here comes the grade. 1.8. Come on, guys. Let's get the fires ripping. Now that we're going to the right location again. A little bit more cut off just as more train gets on the hill here. Whistle says yes, please. Come on, guys. I've got the cut off on this one so far forward. So far forward on both of them now. Come on, guys. We're slogging up this thing right now. The engines are working stupid hard right now. That's a full firebox in the lead engine. Full firebox in the rear engine. All the way in the corner, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%. We're giving it literally everything we can right now. Come on, guys. I'm not sure how I'm still moving with the engine, but it's a good camera view, so we'll, we'll stick here. <laughs> well, engines working in the corner do tend to sound like they're falling apart, if we're being real.
the whistles are like, help, please. Come on, guys. Does that make 200%? <laughs> if only the math worked that way. Come on, guys. This is what I love about Zybox mods, is you get a, a fighting chance with it. Whereas default game, you would just get absolutely screwed. You'd be like, oh no, well, you know. <laughs> you can't generate steam for that. It sucks. Come on, choo-choo. <laughs> We're out of sand, but apparently we're still holding the gray. <laughs> we have so much tonnage behind us, they're just they're just holding. That's pretty stiff, but we're this is about leveling off right here. And we're just absolutely running the hell out of it. But we could probably use a little bit more water in this one some water going up. Yeah, I wish the audio for the pistons is better, too. Whistle agrees. Alright, we're gonna let the fires die back, because we're not gonna need 300 kilograms of coal in these things too much longer. Rear engine's popping, so it can, it can afford more water. Well, there's not going to be a time bonus for us to get here. <laughs> Isn't my caboose up here? No, we, we picked it up. My caboose was somewhere around here, but we did, we did pick it up. I don't know where it is anymore now. I'm not, I'm not sure actually. We did bin it right around here, but we picked it up last stream. It might be dead at the harbor somewhere. Alright, now that we're speeding up... Oh, now that the water's full, here we go. Alright. Start dialing the cutoff back a little bit here. <laughs> no pegs, thank you for the super chat. Heist against the machine, now on stage. Beans on parade. Rally round your switch yard. What a pocket's full of coal. Down now. Bow now. Very good. Bandu, bandu. Sorry, I was forgetting which song Bulls on Parade was. It's a song that every cover band in my high school played. Can't believe I forgot it. Got a song you put in your playlist. Beautiful. Hey, we've begun. Oh, he almost said stop, but then he gave me a fourth one, so it's fine. Finally regaining some speed here. At least the music and coherent lyrics. But lyrics about beans what doesn't make sense. Machine factory? Oh, is that it does it show up on the map? Oh, I probably ran it there with that job for that video I did. Yeah. Oh yeah. There it is. And I've not bothered to go get it since. We'll get it sometime. Will ever try run eight? Um, I tried to get run eight to work earlier this week, and it's um, a bit of a chore. But yeah, we'll, we'll give it a shot sometime soon on the channel. 
Riven Amir, cheers for the super chat. The laughs are what you needed after the day you had. Well, I'm glad I was able to help give you some laughs and uh, take your mind off the day. That's that's the whole reason I was streaming, is taking my mind off the week and everything. So it's always fun to get together with you guys and share railroad stories and, and stupid shenanigans with beans and boys and explosions and two, two steam engines that have no right doing what they're doing right now. So... <laughs> The whistles are real talkative right now. We're on the fast part, but I don't think we're going to get to go fast, so. Beating in the name of. But up, but. Now you're out of your pot. But up, but yeah. The weird, the weird glow on the window is kind of strange. Are we going to play Zapekist anymore? We might play Zapekist. It's been a long time since we did it. The The stream video for it um, that we did a while back has randomly garnered a couple comments lately, which has kind of been funny, but it's, it's a fun game to play. I'll make a fun live stream. Yeah, the clouds are scooting across the sky, aren't they? Sunday fun days, I guess. Yeah, indeed. All right, coming up on that 70. So I, well, we'll shut down the rear engine here. Let the uh, the helper do the work. Plug it full of water too, so it's ready for later. It's fires dire and back. Covered in Beans album on Spotify. Beautiful. <laughs> See about making a, a silly album in my spare time. Wish the rain actually had affected the heat on the train. That'd be cool. How did the Beans thing start? I don't know. It's I mean, it's a, been a common phrase... Um, for a long time. I'm not even sure where it comes from, but give it the beans. It's always something that I've heard, and it's just kind of become a meme on the channel, and then uh, I'm not sure how someone made the bean can uh, explodey boys that are behind us. <laughs> I'm not sure <laughs> how, that, how that became a thing, but it's one of my favorite things now that I've seen it, so. Dates back to the early 1900s, I'm not surprised. Night, Tyler. Give the beans, give the gas. Well, I mean, that, no, that is fair. It's accurate. Go to beans is a railroad term, yes. And late beans is a whole thing. Oh, we're getting low on pressure. <laughs> Front engine's like, you're making me work super hard right now, bud, and you're not feeding me coal. Coming up on the start of the downhill here. So I guess we put the rear automatic in lap and then be ready to take our set. Whistle has lots to say about that. It says DRL Valley's double heading is kind of bullshit. That's what I thought it said at least. Gotta have a brake stand cut out. Alright, we're doing 50. We got a 40 coming up. We got a super long train. We're gonna take a little set here. And theoretically, if I release it, it will not release the whole train. Although, no, it will release the whole train. That's bizarre. Okay. Take another set here. And 
No. Come on. We just murdered the couplers back there, but they didn't break. It's fine. We all style beans and railroading tribute down on Kickstarter. <laughs> Bean label and sticker. It'd be fun. Oh, yeah. We, we didn't even watch the bean cars go through the tunnel. But they made it, so. Yeah. I guess, I think there's one more tunnel coming up, isn't there? At least one more. Remind me for the next one. Oh, well, there it is. Remind me when my train's not trying to run away. All right, beans. Yeah, we'd be gone. There was a lot of people talking, so <laughs> I'm not surprised. And during the film, when people were talking over it, I set their volumes kind of lower. So if you're talking during the... Oh, that's a little glitchy. If you talked a bunch while the movie was going on, I might have turned your volume down a little bit. And I, it might have been hard to hear at the end. So my apologies on missing a question if you had one. You know you know where to find me. I mean, feel free to <laughs> shoot me a DM or a, shoot me a message in the Discord or whatever. Okay. Take a little set here now that things have finally recharged. And release it. Let's get a little blower going. <laughs> the cans are open. Someone's been looting the beans. Not the beans. Good morning from France. We're trying not to derail this double header that we shouldn't be double heading downhill. <laughs> the whistle's like, yeah, we shouldn't be. And we're starting to come back up here, so we're gonna set them up again. Get a set starting to propagate. Mitch look at the hard master's face and roll up with a bunch of giant bean cans. It's pretty good. <laughs> Beans do not equal explodies. They can. They can. We've yet we've we've not blown up any beans yet. We only blew up some of Dylan VA's stuff. Gretchen Don Treader, cheers. Glad you enjoy the 101 series. It's a lot of fun to make. It's it's really challenging to make in my experience um trying to get the right reference figure out what the topic level and like what would be interesting and what what is stuff that you haven't heard in other places probably it's it's kind of challenging to put them together but i i have fun with it so <laughs> yeah it's being the keyword yeah Oh, what's my thoughts on the one-man crew thing? Uh, the railroads are going to push for it. I think it's stupid. There's always going... Until we have, like, seamless, fail-safe, automatic train control, there, there's never a place for just one person in the cab, in my opinion. You want to have two people always. Good heavens, this is playing like a slideshow as it loads the harbor in. Yeah, this is, I'm getting three FPS right now. Two. I'm setting up the automatic brake valve. So I don't trust what's about to go down. Goodbye, train. 
Oh, jeez. Load the harbor already. <laughs> oh, man. This is just a lag fest. What, what can we do to appease you, Derail Valley slideshow gods? The whistle's demanding blood. Warm the cups. Egad! Yeah. Serious Egad right now. Release the brakes. Let's get back to rolling, please. Is this thing still not come back up to pressure? Too many mods on a harbor, yeah. Big, big cars area, yeah, for sure. Man, if it's gonna be 2 FPS, that's... Oh, hang on. It may have finished loading crap finally, went back up to like 10. We can live with 10. 10 is, 10 is somewhat playable. Train's still not recharged all the way. It's annoying. We're gonna wanna take a little set here. Start to get some amount of propagation going back and just set it up. We didn't get any force out of that one though. So we'll set it a little harder. Cheers, we've begun. Glad you did. Still loading, but the darkness is hiding most of the polys. Keep thinking the whistles, the sensor bleep. It's the same recording, so. I don't have a real time bleep unless I went, what the? And even that and that feels fake because of the lag, so. Um. We need to go into the E9, right? God, is it just all the lights? Like, what is it that is killing the FPS? Whatever. If I was really smart, I would put the second steam engine somewhere else so that I could make this easier. E9's gonna be to the right. Seven, E8, E9 is right here. We're gonna run through that, cut the rear couple cars off, and that'll be that. We'll see what our time bonus is looking like. <laughs> As our double header flies through town here. If the whistle just blew its own grade crossing, just about. Check all the switches? I thought I did. I've got six right now. This is kind of painful. Yoink. And then we're coming into E9. Yeah, the railroad crossings are also a mod. They're part of the light sniper mod. Which I'm gonna need more graphics card something if I'm really gonna use these mods like this. Thing run out of coal yet? 
Almost. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get the, the rear cars parked in here. And then uh, probably call the stream because this is a slideshow and I need to handle this off off camera, I think. But we got we just gotta dump off our beans. C816. Yeah. It's just we're just dro dropping beans off the E9. So we'll get there sometime soon. Cuz yeah, this is just a slideshow right now. European in a cup. We are back to where we started just about. Did we leave out of E9? No, we didn't leave out of E9, but we left out of the harbor this Started the stream, that's true. It's the beans mobile. Yeah, beans. The organic bean. It's made out of um, things. Beans are tank cars. So they're explodey boys. They're explodey bean boys. There we go. Air hoses popped. Everyone's all stopped. Shut off throttle. Shut off throttle. All right, let's go turn in those jobs and get out of this laggy nightmare, and that'll that'll be all for tonight's showing. I'll switch the rest of this crap out and see what money I can make. <laughs> turn off a, a couple mods that are being obnoxious. Um, not that one. 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 So, I wonder if Booklet Organizer actually organizes them while you're in your uh, menu there, because it seemed like it did. So, hey, even with our little stupid detour, not too terribly bad off of uh, the uh, bonus time there, and 50 grand, we'll switch the rest of them out, probably get a couple hundred, and then only a couple hundred grand to go, so. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. This is uh, this is a lot of fun, and I appreciate all of the new ESD train crew members who joined us tonight. This is super cool. We need a kaboom. Um, it's past my bedtime for for next time, perhaps, because we we gotta dig ourselves out of this hole. But thanks so much for watching, everyone.